Simpiwe Dludlu, as well as uh, Sibulele Holweni. They are, well, key members of the team that is off to uh, play in Uruguay in the FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup. One of them is the captain, the other one is the coach, and we are sending them off here at Sport at 10 because, coach, when do you actually get on the plane to head to the World Cup? This Saturday, Saturday, hopefully. So this is like well, one of the last time, uh, one of the last to actually be able to say, okay, well, yeah, hopefully, well, you hopefully for nine. No, la la la, uba show ma say you are on that plane and saying, look at bye. February is where this journey began, and skipper, back with us, how it? It all began in February, qualifying, Morocco, getting to qualify for this World Cup. How how much of an achievement of your dream of your football life is this? Um, um, I can start here by saying I never thought I'll be here today. Being a captain from um, from 2015, right, coach? Mm -hmm. uh? Yeah, from 2015, playing for under 17, and I was, I think I was also one of the youngest players there. And now, voila, I'm here. You're going. Going. Are you ready though? I'm ready. What makes you ready? I was born ready. Look at the focus. I love the focus in the eyes. But today, before I come back to the coach, today, as much as you're ready for the football, you are still a student. <laughs> today, what were you doing earlier today? And we won. Aye. Kanjani. Where are the rest of the scholars? Just three of you? No, we were we were the one that was writing for today. Because you're going? No. Because of the exam to be uh, Yeah. Um, I'm definitely sure. Um, then. Yes. Okay. Well, we'll check. We'll get those results. <laughs> Coach, you know, I had a chance to look at the Under-17 World Cup and our group. What, take us through, South Africans, just very quickly. Who's in our group and how difficult is it going to be to even get out of the group? We're up against a, a team that has won the World Cup before. In 2014, Japan, um, that's the second game we play. Mm -hmm. they, they won the World Cup in 2014. In 2016, they came second. We up, and they've qualified all six out of six of the under-17 World Cups. So Cups. Japan is dangerous. We've, we, we up against Mexico that has qualified five out of six as well. Mm -hmm. In the last World Cup, they came out in the group stages. Mm -hmm. We've, we up against um, Brazil, who are the Samba Chiquitas, you know. And they've also qualified five out of six. So there's a lot of experience. And then Tina, Mao Kozukuma qualification. Tina, what is. This is our second. See, I was two. Yes, this is our second qualification. 2010 was the first one. Yes. And, and then gap, 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 gap until now. Yes. Sure. So it's not an experience, Le Pambi. So it's not an experience, but at the same time, you can't beat hot. I always say that. You can bring your experience, but on the day, hot needs to be the one that says, I will put in an extra shift and work. The one thing is, though, and Msawao, I mean, the one thing that we can't allow, please, Nyakela. Yeah, one in 2010, we had team there, a young 2010 with the World Cup. But shower 10 won by Germany. 10. Nyakela, Msawao, please. I want to 10, please. Inga Kumi, man. Or if it comes, Kube Yite si Okay. Yeah. We actually expecting good results, uh -huh. yeah, and generations change. So let generation see Petty mind you. Yeah. You let, like, this is, like, I'm getting a real sense of belief. You're giving me that thing that, okay, I must tune in, I'm going to have to watch, maybe catch the clips online, whatever, because we're going to go far. Yes, obviously. You really feel like we can get out of this group? Yes. And Basad? No. Defending few, like no. the team that was second last time, Japan, Brazil, uh, Mexico, Nayo has been to the quarterfinals, guy two, Tina's Pume, first time 2010. That's, that's their history, and we're there to make our own history. Thank you. Coach, I did I not tell her. Maria Savanza, coach. Maria Savanza, coach. I want to use The work is happening. So, what becomes the objective? What is the plan? What do we want to achieve in Uruguay? I think the biggest thing is for them to be confident. Um, because when they are confident, anything is possible. Mm. I can bring the best tactics in the world, but if they don't have self-belief, if they don't understand what 
each one of them is capable of, then we are wasting time sending a team there. So that is the biggest thing for me. And once they believe and understand what is their role, Guzo Balula for Bonuti, when they get to the World Cup, they play their utmost best. So many eco lamb is for them to go out there and leave everything on that field. Preparation, has it gone well? So far, so good. We... Spain, yes, Spain. So, I mean, so, Spain. Spain. <laughs> Spain. Valencia. And that experience, did it make you better players, uh, Skipper, as we go to the World Cup? Yes, actually, because we played against La Vente. We won them 4-2. And uh. we played against Valencia, which they were under 20 and we were under 17. Mm -hmm. And we Not draw. Wrong. Yeah. So that experience has put you in a good position. Yeah. Ah, coach, sharp must. Reza, Reza sharp, ready must. We'll be ready when we kick off, because the biggest thing is that Mabahame by Matiminoabo, Gubanzima. When they come back, we have to get back on the wagon, you know. But because we've tried regularly, Luguti Babe Corner, Emma Campin, Silali, and prepare better, it has been mm. better because they understand when I'm sneezing, they understand what I mean. You know, when I'm putting my thumbs up, they know exactly what I mean. So that's the relationship. That's it's not just on the field stuff that we need to be ready about psychologically. I mean, I said to you earlier, Angim Jelangu Tagatin, because that's the the, the training there, that's there. You just want them to understand holistically, Guti. It's not just football. Guys, all the best. You know, the last time we went, we didn't win a game. So if we can win a game, that would be great. We win two games, that would be fantastic. Three games, amazing. We get through the next round, superb. We'll be celebrating, we'll be at the airport. Just make us proud. I think that's really what we want. Skipper, just make us proud. And we enjoy yourself. We it's will. a FIFA Under-17 World Cup. You know, it's never going to happen again. Yeah. Thomas, it, 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 one last thing before we go off, you know, I think I need to applaud the parents that are saying, yes, thank you, take our kids. I mean, Konukoko, a KZN who says, that, that, that for me is something, and that's the relationship we are building with them. And South Africa, these are your kids, love them, support them, because they're not just representing the colors, but they're representing the heart of Africa as well. So for me, it's to say thank you to everyone that is involved in making sure that we go to the World Cup ready psychologically says Gutis Lapayana you know to make the country proud come on Bantwana come on <laughs>